Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we have messages of wealth and love from the underworld, Hades and Persephone's messages. Um, so this one where it's going to be pretty interesting. I've never done something like this before where um, we are going to delve into, you know, what that they would have to tell you or have to say in regards to love life as well as, you know, success, wealth, uh, abundance, things like this, because straight up Hades is, or Pluto is the god of wealth. Uh, he's a fair, just dude. Um, you know, they, he definitely has it hot and hard for his woman, Persephone. Um, so it's like, you know, I feel I felt like this was like a perfect blend and a combination. If you ever you're wanting to work with a deity to bring more abundance and, you know, wealth and success into your life, working with him is a pretty good idea. So anyways, we have uh, three groups today. We have group one with this image, group two with this image, and group three with this image. I love this image. I actually have this hanging over my bed, <laughs> an actual painting of it up over my bed. So anyways, um, go ahead and select whichever group is calling to you. But do please remember that this is a general reading and not a personal one. So there's no reason to take anything personally. If it's not resonating, just take what does, leave the rest. If you feel called to listen to more than one group, obviously there is a purpose for that. Trust your intuition and go with it. So go ahead and choose your group and let's get started. For our group one peeps here with this image, let's take a look and see what messages that Hades and Persephone have for you today. I'm just going to set this aside. I love that one. It's so fucking cute. I love his hair. All right. So let's see what they have to say to you. We have the tower. We have the five of wands. We have the fool card. <laughs> and we have the emperor energy. We have Aries energy. We have Uranus energy here big time. We have Mother of Dawn, the Emissary. We have Beauty, Agency, and Compassion. We have Lady of Masks, the Shaper, with Reclamation, Vanity, Surface Appearances. We also have card 27 with Mercury Energy, which is interesting because we have Uranus Energy, which Uranus is the higher octave of Mercury, and we have Empathy. Very interesting because, you know, this is talking about compassion. We have Empathy coming up. We have unity with card 34, uh, a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. And then we have this card and this card. Beware of what you are projecting, for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. And we have imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So they're basically telling you this. <laughs> Straight up, you've got some shit that you need to change. Um, there's a whole lot of releasing of the old uh, in order to bring in new possibilities and new opportunities. I feel like you guys have been telling yourself some ugly stories for a long time and you need to stop with that. Um, for some of you, you could be very judgmental and not very, very empathetic to others. You know, you need to learn more about self-compassion so that you can actually have compassion for other people. Uh, for some of you, you definitely have been putting on a mask, pretending you to be somebody you're not in order. And like you've been so focused on vanity and surface appearances that you're not seeing, you know, what lies underneath. I feel like with your own reflection, okay, because uh, this is talking about your own reflection right here. You know, you you want this great love. You want this great success and stuff like this. But are you radiating that type of love? Are you uh, very comfortable in your own skin? Do you feel like um, you yourself are love? Um, or are is it all based on, you know, um, un you know, like conditional love? Like, do you think that, you know, strings have to be attached? Like, you're not going to do this for somebody because if you don't, you know, um, like when it comes to a relationship, like you have like all these conditions. If you have all these conditions, you know, I want you to turn around and look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, how would you feel if somebody did that to you? 
Um, there's definitely a need for um, more empathy for yourself. You need to reclaim um, your agency, like, you know, like beauty and things like this. It's like, I feel like you've been struggling way too long and trying to fight and like, you know, trying to prove to other people that you're this one way when really you're not. That's all going to go away. The, the walls need to become crumbling down. There's definitely a tower moment coming in your life that's going to be a turning point. It could have to do, in fact, with the Pluto squaring the nodes right now, um, which is forcing people to really follow their true path in life uh, and be who they were meant to be. And I feel like that's definitely what's going to be happening here with this. There's a new beginning, and it definitely has to do with really owning your shit and stepping into your true power and being the emperor of your own, you know, empire, basically, and really becoming more independent and more strong. For some of you, you've been like focusing so much on that. I have to look a certain way, um, you know, because if I even show one li or be a certain way, if I show one little weakness or one hair is out of place, then nobody's going to like me or something like that. You know, it's like we don't want to look like crap obviously, and be all slovenly and sloppy and stuff like this. No, no, no. That's not what this is about. I think it's like gone overboard with this uh, for somebody here. Um, there's definitely a um, partnership coming in. And, you know, for romantically and as well as business, there's some opportunities here that's going to present itself. But I feel like in this case, be very careful about judging other people. OK, including your romantic partners, because everything that, you know, the things that you like about them, you know, like you guys reflect each other. I feel like you guys um, definitely bring that out in one another. And remember, the things that you don't like are also your own reflection. It, it Basically, the relationships, all the relationships around you right now are a reflection of where you're at, like spiritually and mentally. OK, so take a good hard look at those. And what do you got going on there? Really like sit down, write it out and ask yourself why it is the way it is. Uh, when you ask why, then you the blockages and things you need to work on are actually revealed. Um, but there's been too much fighting to try and like convince people of certain things like but I think it's like this is one of these kind of things where it's like, honey, you're trying too hard. You need to dial it back and be a little bit chill. Have a little bit more compassion for you. I feel like you beat yourself up over the littlest thing uh, when you need to have more compassion. And I do have to say with the, the vanity and the surface appearances, you could be like literally like hanging out with people who are so vain that <laughs> it's kind of rubbing off on you a little bit and that needs to chill. It's, there's nothing wrong with wanting to look beautiful or look good and you should because especially if it makes you feel good. But when you cross the line and you know, you're only about the surface appearance when it comes to like who you're with or whatever, that's like, ugh, you know, it's like you're you're pushing the limits here it's like you're gonna end up in a freaking world of hurt if you keep doing that so let's take a look at this card right here <clears throat> the unity message here with card 34 to see the extended message for this group because this does have uh career stuff and relationship stuff in this card which is why i chose it so this card is all about emotions, feelings, developments, and rewards. There is a greater sense of harmony surrounding relationships and new projects, and your career or business will fulfill you. But be prepared for an unexpected twist of fate, that tower moment. This card signifies the harmonious union between two people, and you may come together with a person of great energy who will lift, uplift your life. Maybe it's an Aries. Uh, it also foretells two people bonding through an emotional connection. So the personal relationship message is, this card represents two people of similar beliefs and traditions bound together in a soulmate experience. You desire more intimacy in your life and long for a deep emotional connection. You have opened up your heart and let go of the restrictions of the past and are now free to show your true feelings and make long-term decisions. There are definite changes ahead and progress in most relationships is likely. Trust and communication will be strong now uh, strong and now is an auspicious time for commitments and proposals in all kinds of relationships. It can also be a symbol of seduction, foretelling desire and passion, and an incredibly strong, deep connection. So the career message here is a new business or project is likely, even a new job. 
Real estate investments, either buying or selling, could be also be offered to you. You could find yourself in the driver's seat and be thrilled with what is being proposed. Yes. So obviously there's some success coming in career-wise. And whenever we have... So look to your progress chart, your solar return, and your natal chart. Because wherever you have Aries sitting in that chart, uh, it's going to foretell where you're always going to have like new beginnings. Uh, it's going to be an area where you're always going to be like starting like it's going to be fresh new all the time like for instance uh you know like my natal chart has aries on the third house it's definitely going to be new beginnings do-overs especially in communications uh you know and you know having to do with short distance travel like discovering new things uh new beginning start overs with even siblings neighbors family members stuff like this you know whatever the third house is all about this is where you're going to have like new beginnings. So that's an example, like wherever it is in your solar return, that's going to give you the idea of where those new beginnings are going to be in <coughs> the coming solar year, like starting at your birthday. And then for progressions, you know, it's going to be sitting there for like a couple years. Um, and that's also, so you kind of layer all three of those together. And these are going to give you an overview of where new beginnings are going to be in your life. Okay. So, um, I do feel like you definitely have new starts and it's that taking that risk, that leap of faith, really diving into this new opportunity. So we have power tip here. It says place a happy photos of yourself and your partner, family, or loved ones in a heart shaped pink frame in your bedroom or living area. Round items such as coasters, dining uh, table, or gold, golden balls in a bowl symbolize unity, enlightenment, and perfection. And a fountain or water feature can bring peace and good luck to the whole household. Remember to play sensual, soothing music to create healthy, harmonious environment. So this is literally bringing up your environment, too. Now, when you think about Hades and Persephone, I totally imagine, like, you know, I mean, this is the god of wealth we're talking here, you guys. So they're going to have, like, you know, some luxurious, opulent stuff. And, you know, they definitely live there, the, you know, they surround themselves with that. This is kind of like a nod that, hey, you need to feng shui your house a little bit more to bring about that abundance. If you're trying to bring more love, you need to look into like your love corner of your house and definitely zhuzh that up. And, you know, whatever, look into this, like look into what the quarters of your house, like how it's laid out. And then, you know, fix the energy there as much as you, I mean, you're not going to be able to get every single thing perfectly right, but you can still change the energy by doing this. And I feel like this is something that is being, you know, suggested here most definitely. I want to peek. I just, I don't know why. It's like, I want to peek at the empathy card to see what it has to say. And this is definitely this section of the, of the deck is all about emotions. And with empathy, it says... There's a little message here. It says, the girl intent on tasting a strawberry suggests to the man all the pleasure and malice of the fruit between her lips and the erotic heat of the pepper hanging on the wall. Okay, so this is like, I feel like, you know, this has got to do with seduction and turning on your sensuality and like liter literally letting it shine, but don't be superficial about it. Show your inner self, show that true beauty within you and let it freaking you know, come out on, don't try to pretend, like don't dress in a way that's not really what makes you feel beautiful. Make sure you're wearing and doing things like, you know, and doing your hair, makeup, whatever, in the way that makes you feel beautiful. I feel like too, following too many trends with you, it's not going to work. You need to be more classic in your approach and definitely dial it back to where it's like you feel good and like you radiate that beauty that's like natural to you. So the reflection says empathy is an energetic current that brings two people together, even at a distance. Knowing each other, communicating, empathizing is the first step in a, re a relationship. Mercury teaches how to play with subtle forces to ev evoke and intertwine them. So there's a, literally like a little magic spell with these. It says to attract empathetic contact, both energetic and physical, you can cook using ingredients that have been in contact with our bodies, especially those traditionally considered aphrodisiacs. So this is telling you to look into aphrodisiac cooking. This will bring out that sensuous side in you. Um, it's so much fun. <laughs> Uh, you know, there, there's books that you can get also, um, for this subject matter. And then there's just books you can get. I have one that costs quite a bit of money. It's like fucking that thick. Um, it's a book all on aphrodisiacs. It gives you the, uh, history of it, where it comes from, you know, how to use it. I mean, it's like, you know, scientific names for each thing, you know, it's so cool. Um, I feel like this, by delving into this, it's going to really like, 
bring that sensual power out in you 100%, okay? And you'll be able to rock it a little bit better. And I feel like empathy has been mentioned in this card. You know, compassion is, you know, here. I feel like this is like, you need to be an emissary for compassion and empathy. This is like the key to like, you know, and starting with yourself, because that's really going to attract the right kind of people to you romantically, okay? So that's it. That is the messages I'm seeing for this group. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for further notifications. If you'd like to check out more readings by me or get a personal reading, you can head over to my Patreon. The link to that is in the drop-down box below. Thank you guys for being with me, and I will catch you next time. you who chose group two with this lovely image, I love it. I have a sticker of this too. Um, this is going to be your reading. Let's take a look and see what messages of love, wealth, abundance, you know, Hades and Persephone have for you here today. So we have, wow, look at this. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the King of Wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So eight is a power number. Like an eight year could be very powerful. Uh, you could have a personality number or a number in your numerology that like for your main numbers, that could be eight. We have the Ace of Swords. Now you got two of these cards. We have Fire with card 10. And this is kind of interesting because you do have the King of Wands. He's very fiery. Um, you know, this says let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. And we have Snake with card 28. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful. So we also have harmony with card oh my god we have 28 twice this has been happening so much in readings lately where it's like you know for different decks it's like we get repeating numbers so look at this we have eight eight we have 28 28 and this that has a number eight is a very powerful number for you okay as well as 10 because if we reduce this down in numerology we get 10 wow or one holy shit and we have the ace damn you guys pay attention okay so we have Golden Empress, Jewel of Abydos with potency, confidence, magnetism. We have the Morgan with Weaver of Fate, Antipathy, Introspection, and Opposition. And then we have these two love messages. We have, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. And then we have, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So, um, wow. <laughs> we have the Eight of Cups. It's time to, this literally is talking about let go of emotional upheaval, embrace renewal of the present. That's what the Eight of Cups is, is as well. This is walking away uh from things that no longer serve us emotionally okay we are moving on we are leaving the past behind we are going forward we are definitely going on a spiritual journey it's like they are telling you it's time to go take that leap and go on a spiritual journey uh you need to do some inner spiritual journeying and this is literally telling like i feel like take a physical journey uh, because, you know, go follow, and this is following your dreams. You need to go follow your dreams. Instead of fucking hemming and hawing and being so afraid to actually make a change, this is literally saying you need to go do this. When you do this, it's going to take a lot of hard work, but it's going to bring about a brand new beginning with a lot of responsibility uh, and power. And we have the King of Wands. Uh, you'll even be meeting somebody romantically, and they're they're quite fiery in, in nature, okay? Um this is, this is literally telling you, you know, it's time for some introspection. You know, there's going to be some kind of opposition in you following this freaking dream and going for it and leaving behind the past. But you absolutely need to do this. Um, you definitely have a lot of potent magnetism. And it's, this is also telling you, you need to really tap into that confidence. This isn't about being cocky. It's about being confident. We have Venus energy here, by the way with harmony. So there is definitely love in the air here. And this is by you making this journey and taking this spiritual trip here. It's definitely opening you up for love. Okay. But this is talking about having a love that's not possessive. This is a very freedom loving kind of love here as well, where it's like, you don't have to force anything with this person. It just is. It just flows. It just, you know, let it be. Um, now, 
What's interesting is we have the snake. It says your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful. I feel like this card in particular is heralding this first card that came out. And this, this is going to tell us the reason why this has to happen. <coughs> There's definitely some shit that you need to leave behind. So let's take a look at the messages in card 28 really quick and see what it has to say. Uh, it's going to give us some warning and some advice, I believe. So thoughts and emotions will run strong and deep at this time. So you may need to spend time alone. Your intuition is stronger than usual, guiding you into a new, luckier and fruitful path. But be patient. You will feel driven to succeed in all areas and failure or loss will be devastating. So be careful. Jealous people may strike at you when least expected or cause you heartache or stress. Tread lightly around personal and business dealings. So there's your warning. So the relationship message here is spending more time alone than usual could result in your partner, family, or friends feeling neglected. But this time is good for the soul and useful in planning your next move. Singles who are stuck on past relationships, this is what you need to let go of, this card's gonna talk about it, past relationships, rejections, or endings could find it very hard to trust the attention they receive from the opposite sex, missing out on opportunities for great partners or friends. It's time to stop dwelling on the past and move forward. Passionate times await when you are ready to take that leap. And this is the snake card. And look at this right next to it. Oh, my God. Pa um, health concerns could arise. So be careful with diet and exercise and don't overdo it. Get the necessary checkups, plenty of fresh air, and lots of brisk walks. So this is saying, hey, you need to get your diet and your fitness in check. There needs to be harmony and balance when it comes to all things in your life at this time because and then getting out in nature and getting some fresh air on the regular is really going to keep you balanced and and keep your thoughts clear it's going to help un you know unblock that freaking stuck energy and open up those chakras you know so the career money message is this is a favorable year in general and this card makes you more aware of your potential if you stay positive and take advice from those you respect you could see strong advancement financially or professionally. Now is the time to be frugal with your finances. Don't lend money to anyone. You will need it yourself. A money-making idea could come your way, and these will be exciting times. Good luck with a project or career, as these could land you in the limelight. And this is where why people could be jealous, you know what I mean? So the power tip here is place a bowl of shells near your front door for luck in your personal and professional lives. Now let's take a look at card 10 there with fire. Okay, we have fire is all about renewal and purification, just as the bush or forest fire destroys old growth. And don't we know it here on the East Coast? I mean, come on, the smoke, yuck. Uh, <laughs> it also makes way for a time of rejuvenation and new growth. This card is all about a fresh path for you, but it also asks you let go of the past. Lackluster relationships or situations that you have swept under the carpet will finally come to an end. There could be emotional upheavals as you do this, and you may find it difficult to relax. Know that there will be new life to come. So the relationship message here is there is a raging fire in your life. Is anger consuming you? Is someone in your life causing you trouble or being self-destructive? Worry over a child or someone causing you problems and grief could also be a burning passion. Now's the time to stop walking on eggshells and communicate openly instead. Volatile situations could come to a climax and this will be for the best. Release all your feelings about a child or partner slowly and rationally. Otherwise, they could come out in a sudden explosive outburst. So the career money message is you are moving towards a major life transformation, setting new goals with drive and more motivation. You are feeling more ambitious and desire power. Fire is about renewal, but in order for that to happen, something must come to an end. Let the past go. Confront what you know you need to and prepare for a time of enormous personal growth. Necessary endings will rejuvenate you and help you get back the respect you deserve. And so the power tip is place a dragon facing the front door of your home or place it on your desk at the office to harness its strength and power. So dragons are obviously your power animal here, okay? Uh, with the harmony card, let's take a peek at this because we got Venus energy in the house, my favorite. Um, let's take a look. So with the harmony here. Beauty and harmony are prerogatives of happy love, 
Everything reveals sweetness and desire. Venus help, helps overcome conflicts, restores loveliness, arouses desire and love, and recovers lost understanding. Never satiated with romance and delight, she gives the gift of it in spades. So this is telling you to turn on that Venus energy, really bring it out. Pay attention to where Venus is also in your natal chart. What is the transit doing, etc.? Where is it in your solar return? You progressed. Pay attention to this because this is going to show you where this is going to really, you know, be the strongest. And also it can show you where you can make some money, okay? Because it is a money thing too. Venus is about um, the material wealth. So the magic here is to beautify yourself, arrange your most beautiful photo and a cup of full water with honey and red pepper between two lit candles, one green, a symbol of love and one blue of attraction. So this is talking about like, you know, if you're doing like a, a spell to bring out that inner beauty and that inner love within yourself, because this is what we want to do if we're trying to attract love is we want to literally become an embodiment of it. And, you know, this isn't a suggestion for that. Um, so, you know, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you, but your soul and memories that you've shared with those you love. This is literally saying you need to really, uh, have an attitude of gratitude for each and every gift in your life every day for every small thing that you accomplish or milestone, you should celebrate it and acknowledge it. It doesn't always have to just be the big ones. If you only wait for the big ones, then it's just not going to mean as much. It's like you want to celebrate every step. Look how far you've come. Be excited about this. And always make sure that when you are in a love relationship, you give the other person space. You don't try to control them. Let them be the person that they're meant to be. Let them shine. Let them be their individual self. You, you know, you, you, this is like literally, you need to, this is like nodding to the fact that your relationship with the, your ideal person is that you are both individuals, but you're in a partnership and you grow stronger. And you encourage one another just by the fact of you letting each other have your own independence, okay? Um, being a control freak never works in a relationship. It always backfires. It always sucks. And it just ends in heartache. So don't even go there. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So that's it. That's the messages I have for this group. Uh, I want to mention too, we had dragon, we have snakes, and we also have crows or ravens. These are going to be... Um, power animals for this group. So anyhow, thank you guys for being with me. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for further notifications so you don't miss a video from me. Um, if you'd like to check out more readings or get a personal reading, you can head over to my Patreon. The link to that is in the drop-down box below. Thank you guys for being with me, and I'll catch you next time. Hey, for those Bye -bye. of you who chose our last group, group three, with this image, which I freaking love, uh, this is going to be your reading. Let's see the messages that Hades and Persephone have for you in regards to love, wealth, abundance. What do we got here? Oh, nice. We have the temperance card. We have Sagittarius energy. We have the four of wands. We got soulmate energy here. We have the empress energy and we have the two of cups. Damn. We have marriage with card 20 marriage <laughs> we have oh i love him we have thanatos uh, it's appropriate right we're doing a hades and persephone uh reading and thanatos shows up here uh warden of dis completion support and ex expediency um ex yeah we have hathor look at this now hathor is a version of like the egyptian version of um Aphrodite, she's one of them. So we have meditation, communication, and culture. Damn, this is so good. And then we have, holy crap, we have moon and cancer, card eight with desire. And then for our love messages, we have the dove, how appropriate. And then we have these butterflies, you know, blue butterflies, and looks like it may be an orchid or something um, with and this is very transformational, okay? Very Thanatos energy and also freaking uh, Hades Pluto energy. We have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. And we have new beginning. New adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Amazing. Okay, so we have Venus energy 
And we have Hathor popping up, which I thought was really interesting. So we also have Sagittarius with Temperance, and this is pure alchemy at work. And this is the soulmate, and we have the Two of Cups. We have marriage here. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. This is like the completion of a cycle. You guys are definitely supportive of each other. You know, um, communication and mediation is very important within this union because the, I feel like that there's definitely a cultural difference here between the two of you. I feel like you guys are going to explore. This is part of like a passion that you guys share is learning about new cultures, traveling, you know, absorbing culture as you go into like big cities and, you know, um, going to museums and just checking out the local, local scene and um, the vibe. Uh, there's definitely partnership in, in terms of business, new partnerships coming in, uh, new beginnings when it comes to that. And then we have a great desire. Um, you know, the, the song um, Burning Desire, that's like totally what song is just like going through my head as I'm looking at that. Um, that's like your theme song, I feel like. Um, but you guys definitely reflect one another. You bring about new beginnings. Um, now this is a suggestion from them is like, you need to make sure that you always give each other space, um, and always know and trust and have faith in one another because everything will always work out. I, I feel like you two can definitely surmount a lot of challenges in life. As long as you stick together and you remember the whole original reason why you came together to begin with. I feel like you guys have amazing powers of communication and, um, you, you're very good at negotiating and things like this too. being together you are going to experience the greatest love of your life and it's going to be absolutely like uh transformational when i think of thanatos obviously it's like you know um you know basically angel of death vibes here and um you know it's it's like this is this is what it is it's like the death of the old it's like you guys are going to constantly experience a lot of transformation throughout your relationship together but this is definitely a soulmate bond this is true love this is like where it's at you guys balance each other it's like you have massive chemistry together and a whole lot of love and um this is the person like if you so choose desire to have children when you would definitely have kids with now in terms of the marriage card let's see what's going on here with marriage, marriage, is the symbol of emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Your aura is electric, attracting exactly what you need right now. There's an abundance of joy and happiness and life's gifts are surrounding you. The key to happiness is to strive for as much harmony as possible. There may be more than one celebration at the moment with new family members arriving through marriages, births, and engagements. Children will make you proud. Give of your time freely to those in need, especially family. Loved ones from the past could return. This card symbolizes perfect unions, both in business and in your personal life. That is sweet, you guys. Uh, the relationship message specifically for this card is a wonderful experience awaits. A new life, a new leaf, a new life <laughs> may begin with a special partner who makes you feel loved and respected. Spiritual messages may manifest, or it might be the start of a new long-lasting loyal friendship. Troublesome relationships could become more harmonious, and families will blossom or grow. Rifts could also be mended. Now is an ideal time for singles to settle down with that special loving partner. So the career message is a new exciting partner for those in business could see added success and love can be found around work-related social activities. This, this talks about marriages. This talks about festivals, parties, celebrations. So this could be like a work celebration and even in where you meet this person. Uh, you could even be attending some big fun conference or something like this and this person could literally be attending it. Doesn't mean you necessarily work together, but you could work in the same field or something, you know? So uh, someone may, someone new may arrive on the work front or in your business sector dressed to impress. You may have a secret admirer and will be pleasantly surprised when you find out who they are, Sagittarius energy, or somebody with dominant Venus energy, or it's a Sag with dominant Venus energy. <laughs> so the power tip here is fill two shells with jewels and precious stones to attract a commitment partner or to spice up your love life. Place a set of crystal swans in your bedroom to bring all your love desires to light or put a round mirror under your mattress or pink flowers in a white vase to attract a partner. So those are little hints for like magical workings. And speaking of that, let's take a look at the desire card and see the messages here. 
uh, with this one in particular, this is uh, obviously the moon in cancer, which is highly psychic and, um, you know, um, very, very intuitive. And I feel like that's like you guys just read each other like a book, you know, and intuitive. You, this is also a nod that you want all this success. You want all this amazement. You, know, you want all this good shit. Then you really, really need to follow your gut instincts and listen to that intuition. Don't ignore the messages coming from your guides. Uh, don't. OK, because that that is just going to cause problems. Um, very beautiful energy. So anyways, desire begets reality, manifesting as a mirror image. Even a child can be a mirror of the couple. And that's so crazy because look at her. She's totally pregnant. You know, uh, the Empress is always pregnant in tarot. So it's, you know, pregnant with ideas, pregnant with new beginnings, pregnant with love, pre pregnant with everything, including a child. And literally, you know, I feel like that's in the books for you guys here. Okay. is definitely um, a child. So desire is the father of action, a primal urge to move, become active. It's the first step, step towards creation. So there's a big hint and a message for you. In order to have this, uh, it could require you moving, okay, to a Venus ley line, okay, to bring love into your life. Uh, but also, um, you have to take action. You can't sit around waiting for everybody to come to you, okay? It's like you have to get out there and take action flirt let people know that you know when you're out in public especially in like a fun situation if you see a freaking good looking person and this person probably you'll you know you this is how like obviously it's talking about you coming together when they're looking at you smile flirt look back wave don't look away and expect them just to come up to you because i'm telling you nowadays nobody's going to do that anymore because they're too afraid of being called creepy or being um you know attacked almost you know like or being accused of things that when all they're trying to do is approach somebody because they think they're attractive and pretty or whatever um you know it's like you need to open the door and let them know that hey you can come talk to me or just straight up be like come here you know don't be afraid to do that believe me okay it's, or compliment them or something like this guys love that shit <laughs> seriously it's like oh my god you know yeah so anyways um to help, oh my God, so guess what the, the magical working with this card is? It is so gnarly. To help conceive a child, capture the moonlight inside a pitcher of spring water and a with a mirror. Let this water sit for seven days under the moonlight and then use it to dilute the wine you will toast with before making love. Oh my God, I love that. <laughs> that is fantastic. Holy shit. Oh my gosh, you guys, maybe even do it under, you know, like put it, do moon water and uh, like you can set a mirror down. Like you, I know Ikea sell, I have them, uh, these big square mirror tiles that, you know, they sell them. Uh, they have round ones, they have square ones. It just depends on what they have at the time, but you can go to Ikea and get these. You can also order them off the internet, um, but it's like you can put that down, put a glass pitcher. Uh, if you're going to put it outside and you're going to put it in wine, make sure it's, you know, covered so that bugs and things don't fall into it and then you know uh, put it under the moonlight obviously make your moon water with that you might even want to put some rose quartz crystals around the base of it and things like this um but even doing it under the the moon in cancer you know that that could even be like s giving it some added oomph or you know um maybe when the moon is in libra or taurus that would be another good one um but yeah fucking sweet okay um obviously you guys have a lot of exciting new beginnings and adventures in the cards here and it's literally telling you embrace it and live your dreams passionately this is where you need to take action to bring this all about you got to go follow and live your life dream you know and live your dreams passionately live each day with passion you know i i remember when i first started my youtube channel someone giving me shit because I get excited, uh, because I live my life with passion, okay? And every, if something excites me, I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to let the world know that I this makes me happy. I feel joy. So I have to, you know, I'm not going to curb it for anybody. If you don't understand that, that's kind of sad because you should live your life passionately. You should smile. You should be excited, especially when good things come up for friends and family or somebody like when I'm doing tarot readings for somebody, when something happy or joyful comes up, I actually genuinely feel happiness and joy. 
uh, for whoever is watching. You know, it's like I want happiness. I want people to feel that joy. I want people to feel love and you know, exude love because this is good for our planet. This is good for humanity. If you're always questioning why somebody's happy, that's really kind of sad. That's a reflection of you not having happiness in your own life, dude. <laughs> Straight up, you know, it's like, uh, it, it, that makes me sad. If that's what people are thinking, if y'all are freaking trying to keep it under wraps because you're trying to look cool, good luck to you in life. You know, I hope you find happiness. I really do. Good luck. <laughs> but it's like you want to live your life with exuberant joy. You do. You want to you want to feel good. Um, you want to smile. You want to like see the beauty in, in everything. With each day, it's like every day I wake up, I'm breathing, I'm here. You know, it's kind of a miracle. So I kind of celebrate that and I live in, in a big big way. That's just who I am. I'm I am Venus dominant. This is my archetype as well. So, um, you know, Aphrodite's known for laughter. She's known for joy. She's known for happiness. But don't piss her off because she'll fuck you up. <laughs> so anyways, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Just ask Hathor. <laughs> she knows. Uh, she's my sister here, you know. <laughs> so uh, anyway, um, you guys have a lot of beauty, a lot of amazing things coming your way. Enjoy it. Live that life. Be happy, smile because you deserve it. You deserve happiness, and but you got to realize that it, that happiness and that love and that excitement is not going to come from outside you. It comes from within you. Okay, you make that happen. You do. Nobody else is going to do that for you. And this is the key. I feel like with this group, in order to attract this amazing partnership and soulmate and marriage, is you have to ooze that joy. You have to ooze that love and happiness. So go for it. Okay, you guys. So anyways, that's it. That's all I have for this group. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for further notifications. If you'd like to check out more readings by me uh, or get a personal reading, you can head over to my Patreon. The link to that is in the drop-down box below. Thank you guys for being with me. Have a great time. Have a great life. Celebrate today and get out there and have fun. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.